So let's talk about cameras for live streaming. When picking a camera, the purpose of the stream is certainly important. Is this for video blogs in front of your laptop, a live unboxing on YouTube, or maybe a backyard wedding ceremony? Each of these have unique variables that you need to consider in order to choose the right camera for the job. But without knowing these, I'm going to give you a few recommendations in terms of cost and quality. My general recommendation on the low end for cameras connected to computers is anything by Logitech. I've been using Logitech for years and I love the quality of their output. If you need something basic, I'd go with their C920 HD Pro webcam. It'll get the job done and it's got a good tripod mount option. I jump above that and I'd go straight to the Brio Ultra. It does 1080p and 4K should you need it. It offers three fields of view and it comes with a long cable that's replaceable. There's also a hidden option for a tripod mount. Extending this out to multiple cameras, you could go with many Brio Ultras or well, you could try something like the Mevo Start 3 pack. Now this comes with its own switching and streaming software using Wi-Fi or Ethernet, but it can also output via HDMI. Now I admit I haven't tested this, but considering it's now under the Logitech umbrella, I definitely think it's worth your time to research and find out if it's right for you. That said, when it comes to multiple cameras, I go straight to PTZ Optics. Like the Mevo, these are great for when you have only one person managing the whole show, but where the Mevo can digitally zoom into a shot, PTZ Optics gives you full remote pan tilt zoom controls through a joystick switching software or even your mobile app. Plus the 30x zoom lens and well being made for low light situations, these make the cameras perfect for auditoriums and churches. Life is definitely easier when full control is at your fingertips. Moving up the ladder past webcams and specialty cameras are my favorite, mirrorless cameras. And while I happen to be a Canon guy loving all the control options that I've gotten used to over the years, I can't help but notice Sony's really taking the lead in making mirrorless cameras suited for videographers. Now on the Canon side, I really like the Canon EOS R5, but I know the Sony Alpha A7S III is the fan favorite of most indie filmmakers. Now, both of these are great cameras and they're gonna meet all your needs and more. If you search online about either of them, you'll get a laundry list of why you want one of these cameras, as well as the best settings to fully utilize them. So I'm not gonna get into all the aspects of the cameras. In fact, in many cases, these cameras could be overkill for simple live streaming. But if you want a versatile camera that'll give you a great image, then I'd definitely get one of these. Now, if you're looking for something at a lower price range, there are a ton of options, but here are three things that you'll definitely want to consider while doing your research. The first is having AC power. On a long enough timeline, batteries aren't going to cut it. Your camera needs a permanent power source. Many portable cameras have the option of an AC adapter, so I would definitely get one. You won't regret it. I mean, sure, a battery that can power your camera for six hours is also nice, but when dealing with a day of presentations to live stream, you're going to need AC power. The second is a clean HDMI output. Recording an event is not your concern, so compression for that 10-bit 422 color sampling, it's not gonna matter. What will is the ability to output that image and stream it to the web. This means an HDMI out with no additional data that appears on the screen, and you certainly don't want it to be downsampled to 720p. So you're going to want a clean signal coming through a full HDMI connection as those micro HDMI and mini HDMI adapters, they get really annoying. The third and probably most important consideration is the ability for the camera to handle low light situations. With live events, you can't count on controlling light. So it's always best to have a camera that can produce a great image, even in candlelight. <laughs> okay, maybe not that low of light, but a large sensor and fast lens are always preferable to the alternative. I mean, whatever it takes to make sure you can see what needs to be seen. I like a full frame sensor and a 2.8 lens, but micro four thirds can be good enough for what you're using it for. Beyond these three considerations, I'd also be sure there's a way to disable any power offs of the camera and that overheating is a non-issue. Also, if you need more than one camera, have all cameras be the same make and model. 
Matching the output on different camera makes and models may be next to impossible for a live shoot, depending on your controls. All right, well, that's it for my suggestions on cameras for live streaming. If you need help encoding, packaging, processing, and distributing your live streams across the world, contact us at Wowza.